Hey guys, today's edition of Tech Talk is going to show you how to change a belt on a B-Series Atom Electric board. Okay, so I got my B10 right here, uh, one of my favorite little boards. And the first thing to kind of go over is basically why we change our belts. Okay, so the simple answer to that is you want to prevent a normal belt from looking like this. If you got this, that's a problem. Okay, so what the... The, the way that you do that is to spot wear and tear before you actually get to the point where a belt is going to break. And we'll show you a couple kind of close-ups of things that you might watch out for, little nicks and strains and things like that. But even regardless of wear and tear, we recommend that you replace your belt every 250 miles, which equates to about 400 kilometers, or uh, six months time. So whichever, you know, is sooner out of those guys, just to keep them nice and fresh and make sure that you don't have any problems down the track. Okay, so getting into the details. <clears throat> First thing you wanna do is we have a little pulley cover, okay, <clears throat> on here, that just covers the actual uh, motor pulley, all right? So I'm gonna take that off. That is an actual uh, Phillips screwdriver. So you guys can use um, hand tools, power tools, whatever you want to do. To save you guys' time, I am going to use power tools. So for these guys that I just kind of dropped on there, I like to keep them in my handy little screw and nut container. <clears throat> All right, and that's my pulley cover all off and exposing the, uh, the motor pulley. All right, next thing that you want to do is you got to actually take your wheel off. For that, I'm just using my standard T-tool. All right, now from here, when you, when you actually pull your, um, your wheel off, the key is actually to, uh, you guys can see that good, but as you pull it off, you want to keep turning, okay? So that's kind of the key, and don't forget that washer. <laughs> so basically, just kind of turn as you pull off, and that allows the belt to kind of wind off the, uh, the drive pulley there. Okay, and then it comes off nice and easy. All right. So now, presuming you have already bought your um, your replacement belt, then you'll have one on hand. Um, you gotta make sure that you actually get the right replacement. So go to AdamLongboards.com and just make sure that you're actually getting the right size. So we do have a couple different belt sizes depending on what wheels you're running. Um, for some of our, you know, we got all-terrain wheels. We got a bunch of different ones. So you're gonna need a different belt size, but this is our standard for the B10, which is a 225. All right, so I have a brand spanking new 225 here, so I'm gonna put that guy on. All right, so the first thing to do, and, and this, you know, takes a little bit of practice to get good at it, but if you follow these tips, then um, that'll happen in no time. So the first thing to do is actually slide it on to the, uh, to the assembly, um, and then you're going to, actually I, I did lose a, washer. I don't know if you guys noticed that when I was taking it off. Um, there's a little axle washer, skate washer, uh, that goes on there. So they, get that guy on first before you put your wheel on. Slide your belt onto the, uh, get it onto the, the motor pulley there. And then when you're, when you're putting your wheel on, it's the same thing as when you're taking it off. The main thing is just to rotate as you push on, okay? So it's like, it like, it's like it used to be in the old days of putting a, um, a chain on a on a bike like on a BMX bike you got to just get one little tooth to bite and then kind of just start twisting that guy um, until the whole thing until the whole thing goes on okay so bam you just rotate real easily all right and you can see now the whole thing's on and you just rotate keep rotating keep spinning keep spinning and then pretty soon you're gonna be all the way on okay I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but um, now you've come all the way on, your wheel's all the way seated, and your belt is on your wheel pulley, okay? Now, you are going to need to take another speed washer, pop that on your axle, and then you're going to want to grab your axle nut, 
and you gotta crank it down. I'm gonna get nice and tight, and you know there's spacers in there. You don't want it to be binding or anything, but because there's um, varying spacers in there, you should be good. Just uh, make sure that it spins nice and evenly. Now the, the last thing to do is actually to just put your, uh, your pulley cover back on, okay? So there's the three screws for that. Place it on, line up the holes. For expediency, I like to just place my screws in there. Once you got that, make sure they're in the holes. And so once again, that's just those three screws that attach the pulley cover. Make sure it's nice and tight there. And you have a brand new belt on the Atom Electric V10 skateboard. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay updated with all the new tech talks with R&D Lee.